men all looking for future title opportunity. Wait a second. But Kurt Robinson, we, I, we thought we saw him go through the locker room door, but he's back in the ring. He has asked Robinson. for a microphone. Asking for a mic? Rob, I don't know. I know you worry about your monitor, but this isn't on my format. I got something to say. Ladies and gentlemen, I have successfully defended the Crystal Coast Oceanic Championship. Yeah! And while Oliver Sawyer is a great performer, I need another challenge. So what? whoever's back there who wants to challenge for this, Wait, right now? come get it. Whoa, whoa! Wait what a, a fighting champion, but like, I got Wait a question. A he just went through a 10 minute battle with Oliver Sawyer and now he wants some more. What is this kid doing? Whoa. Wait a second, I've heard that music before. Wait a second. Wait one second. Reno. Are you kidding me? Reno, who is that? Wait a second. Is that Colby Carino? I thought he was in Florida! Colby Carino, you're not supposed to be here! What an ovation for the return of the last bastion! Colby Carino is back in the PWF! And what sounds are coming from this crowd? They love this is gonna be a tough match. I can't believe that Kurt Robinson. As you can hear from our capacity crowd, a huge welcome back, champ, for Colby Carino. And can I say, this kid looks in great shape. Absolutely. We haven't seen Colby Carino in the PWF in, well, I would say seven months. I have known Colby for 25 years. Absolutely. And let's be honest. Kurt Robinson and Colby Carino have known each other all of Kurt Robinson's life. There's Kurt Robinson, 23 years old. Colby Carino, 26 years old. They grew up together outside Philadelphia. They know each other so well. Rob, you and Steve Carino started the Premier Wrestling Federation in 2001. So my math was wrong. It's really 22 years <laughs> of Premier Wrestling Federation. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at this. But I have to wait, wait, ask wait, wait, you. Wait, 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 we got uh, a little bit of uh, discrepancy here. Kurt Robinson just said, Colby's not supposed to be here. Absolutely, I'm as surprised as anyone. I'm gonna say, Kurt Robinson, you can't call for another match from a challenger, an open challenge, and you can't complain about who comes through that door. Absolutely. But I don't think he ever expected it would be Colby Carrito. These two, not only their past growing up, but Colby holds a undefeated streak against Kurt Robinson. He does. I think that record is 2-0. 2-0 here. Not letting go. Oh. Holding on. And I'm looking it up as we speak. This amazing collar and elbow lockup. And Col I can't. I, go ahead, Rob. Well, I was going to say, I do know that they both have an outstanding amateur background history. Oh, absolutely. And I'm reading here on my iPad. Colby Carino, we thought, was signing with the WWE in January. We know that's been put on hold now. And he is saying right here, and, you know, crystal clear words with no pun intended, he is here to win the PWF Oceanic Championship and the PWF Championship. So, like, the kid's got a goal here. Side headlocked, uh, applied by Carino on Robinson. Robinson has to, ha there has to be a little anger. Okay, I'm just going to put it out there because it's my job to be right down the middle. Yeah, I don't know if it's anger, Rob, or maybe a little frustration. You know, you, you get excited defending a championship in a hot opener, as we saw with Oliver Sawyer. Now they're trading shoulder tackles here. Little standoff. Look at the smirks. Yeah. Would you say there's a friendly rivalry between Carino and Robinson? <laughs> I think friendly. It 
could go south Absolutely. real quick. And again, I'm going to go back to Kurt Robinson. He looks frustrated already. And I'm going to say that you can't say you will you will def- defend against an open championship like an open challenge and anybody can come through that door you can't complain about who it is can't complain no you definitely can't complain i mean these guys <laughs> oh beautiful I'm, sweep I'm takes go- out the knee i'm gonna tell you something also because i know colby and because i know kurt they have a, a, it's a very odd streak they enjoy oh! abuse they, they do. They both enjoy taking punishment. They, it adds to their energy as opposed to subtracting from a normal professional wrestler's energy. What? Fight, Can fight I each t- other to chop each other. It's always dangerous. And that's the rivalry between the two. They've been like this since amateur wrestlers. Colby's just asking for it. Come on, Kurt. Lay it in. Stung that one there. Colby Carino's mustache looking Magnum TA-ish. Oh! <laughs> Very unsanitary chop Ooh. right there by Carino. May I add a... Mm-mm. No way. Sean asking him if he... The referee Sean oh. Pittman asking him if he wants to quit. <laughs> Guys... Look, if you're watching at home, I'm sorry, but uh, Reno and I are oh. are enjoying. T- <laughs> it's I, a little uh, rough. That's a correction. I am wincing <laughs> as Rob Dimension is smiling there. <laughs> Multiple knife edge chops there by Colby Carino. <laughs> oh. And he's got Robinson down. Robinson very smart to roll out to the apron. You cannot be pinned on the apron. I think the tattoo on Colby Carino's back says, I will chop your ass. Actually, there is a story to that. Colby Carino grew up a big Tyler Black, Seth Rollins fan. And uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Circumstances as they may. That's what got Colby Carino his first tattoo. There's a clothesline cover. See, two Colby, count there. a champion. See how he hooks the lane? Look at everything. He's applying pressure, giving Kurt no air. Yeah. No air. With no air, you can't win. That's right. Colby Carino, former Crystal Coast Open Weight champion. You know, we're second really good gen- at this. Second generation wrestler. No, we're really good. At least, I, I mean, you I and I? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're really good at this. Ladies and gentlemen, you can send your cards and letters to IWTV <laughs> if you have any complaints. There was a hard uh, elbow sorry. smash. Catching him right under the ear. Hurting the neck there. Oh, Robinson oh, to the outside. To the outside. Oh. I, Robinson I mean, has a count of 20 to get back be, in the ring. There better be an oxygen tank out there. Oh. Because this kid is gasping for air. Colby going right to the outside. Referee Sean Pittman's going to have to let some of these rules slide because these two guys, I wouldn't say they're enemies, and I would say I wouldn't say that it's a great friendly oh. rivalry. They want to beat each other. You can see Colby Carino taking full advantage of the tw- of the twenty count here. Multiple chops on the post. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. oh. That will. <laughs> That will make you rethink chopping about three days from now. And Colby is still in a sling. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, right in the hands. IWTV, that might have broke his hands am, or a finger. I am sorry for my outbursts of laughter, but come on, come on! No count there. Now Kurt Robinson goes to the left arm, where maybe he should have went for the right hand. European uppercut takes Carino down, but Carino Colby right back just up. getting fired up. Colby to the outside. Kurt just waiting. Well, Kurt has to be a little tired from his match before with Oliver Sawyer. He can't. His, his gas tank can't be at full. Inside from the out, outside. Suplex, but can he follow it up? Cover. He's got that leg. Oh, and this game is about milliseconds. While Colby is fresh, he's fresh still. We have to put into a fact that he just, I don't know, we're going to have to have a doctor look at that hand and wrist 
after this match because I think some serious damage happened to that hand and wrist. Yeah, Dr. Galkanokis will be on site here at the PWF. He'll take care of all of our PWF megastars. Whoa. Oh, uh, that one-legged moonsault cover there. Now there's that high cover I talked about with Oliver Sawyer where Oliver Sawyer was a beat away from becoming the Crystal Coast Oceanic Champion, but didn't pin Robinson high on the shoulders. But we got to give props to Kurt Robinson for having enough energy to kick out of that attack. My pinball. partner, Reno Stevens, do you feel, do you feel like the chills? We are seeing something that is going to continue in the PWF until one person eventually leaves. Oh my goodness. You watch. This is something that I know you and Steve Kruger talked about for years before the boys got into professional wrestling. Oh, that's a back chop. That is an unwritten rule in professional wrestling that you should not hit it. Colby intense. But wait a second here. Uh, oh, <laughs> exploder <laughs> suplex into the corner. It Kurt looks like Robinson. Carino hit both his neck and calf. The CEO of the GAS, this kid has got a gas tank full of let's go. I didn't know if you could get that at your local Wawa, but here we go, Robinson. They are opening Try up Waha, uh, Wawa's down here, by the way. And Rob, you spoke about how hot it is in the venue. We have some air conditioning, but it is hot out. It is 86 degrees and sunny here on the Crystal Coast, North Carolina holiday weekend. You have to wonder how that's affecting both of their cardiovascular systems. Going for that almost perfect plex again. Well, but he, it's, call, he calls it the pink slip because once you get uh, hit with it, you usually don't have a job after. Look at that, look at, looks like he's going for a German suplex. German suplex takes Colby inside out. Now Colby to the apron. What a great match we got going on uh, here. You know what? Uh, I, this is a main event anywhere. Yeah, and here we got it. Nice cover there by Robinson. You see he was trying to trap the arm and leg at the same time. However, he, he, he has to be closer to the center of the ring because it allows Colby. The ropes are right there. That's where Kurt Robinson is the strongest. Going there. for that pink slip again. Clothesline doesn't get all of it. Oh, clothesline from Robinson. He did get all of it. And you caught him in the nose there. Very Stan Hansen-like catching somebody in the nose. What? Who stands there and waits? I, I, they're just, they're showing, they're showing 23 years. Oh, pride, and you could see Robinson caught Colby Carino with that last one. I'm going to say, Reno, this is a match of pride. Absolutely. You could see no man wants to go down here. There's a lot at stake, but mostly the Crystal Coast Oceanic Championship left arm suplex, or left arm clothesline there by Carino. Kurt Robinson looks like he's done. Oh, he hit him with it! He hit him with it! We were talking about this! One, two, three, new, new champion! We got a new champ! Let's get the official word! New champion, Kurt Robinson, amateur mistake. You don't say, I want an open championship. Like, I'll take on anyone. And Colby Carino walks through the door, answers the challenge, and beats you for the one, two, three. And not only that, three and oh. Yeah, how about this though? Colby Carino taking advantage of an amazing situation there. Wait a this isn't over yet. What are we gonna see here? Kurt Robinson should shake his hands. Uh oh, wait a second. He should, he should, there should be no animosity here. That, that beautiful championship title. A lot of pride there, a lot of great champions that we've had in the short history. Robinson saying you weren't supposed to be here. A lot of frustration there. Whoa! Oh, what? 
what an attitude this kid has. I'm sure his father's going to talk to him after that. But you have to understand what a, a lot of guts from Kurt Robinson. He wanted to get another defense of the championship. But it ended up costing him. And we have a brand new Oceanic champion. And his name is Colby Carino.